okay, let's fix it. How'd it go? Um, the reason I think this is a good code challenge is that it really makes you rethink how we're, or <coughs> revisit how we're rendering, which is something you're going to do in the next coming weeks for your app development. And it's just good to understand how to uh, refactor things. In this case, it's a pretty good size refactor. Okay, so on our render, we know, right, we're getting, we're back to having all the data in, in this case, the object outputted. So why would that be? I kept giving you the hint, right, is that we were changing the names, right? So if you remember, and if you don't, now's a good time to think about it, right? What those, um, what that object looks like. So if I was to come in here, I'd set, I could set a breakpoint right here, right? I could go ahead and let it run. So the first time through, right? So what's my key is first, mm-hmm, right? So it should in this case, because it's not equal to last, right? But we can also look at, right, the data itself, right? So we know first, instead of first name, our last instead of last name, right? So we can see here the new updated um, values. So we can just change those. So instead of last name, it's last. Instead of house, it's house uh, member. No, actually it's household. See, and that's where it household points. And then house size points. Okay. Now this brings up something I think I'm going to either do in the challenge, but something Stephen mentioned to me that I had not thought about is because we're just assuming that these items, right, and if we come back over here, this is the order at which they're iterating over. So there is a chance, based on differences in code, that these could, like the first time through, it's going to have, right, and you can already see this on the key, right, the key the first time is first. So, but these are lift, listed alphabetically. So there is a chance, there's a definite, you know, edge case we could talk about. Again, if you have heard me say that, a uh, situation, depending on the code and how it's written, that this could not render correctly, even with the correct keys. But let's finish this up, and then we'll talk about that. So I'm going to let this run and see what happens, see if it renders correctly. And by the way, it's just iterating over all those oh, down there. And then it did it again, because I made several changes. So now I have two. Ah, so it didn't completely fix it, right? So which one is still showing up, right? So we have the house size is, but we have 10. Let me see, house size points. Let me make sure I just spelled everything correctly. All right, let's try it one more time just to see which one. Okay, so let's see what's in what's in the data. Right? If we drop down household. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That should help. Fix one problem, but what we're still gonna have another one. Actually I'm gonna take off for a second the break point and just let it regen. Okay. At least that we know. Okay, now we render correctly, but you should always test. So does the delete work? Yeah, delete works fine. Does the edit work? Mm -mm. Notice what happened. Right? It bombed. Not only that, we got a hard error here. <laughs> it's not a hard error, it's in the range. So let's see what happened. Oh yes, here. When we're setting these values from the object, these have changed. This is why we're getting undefined, undefined, and not populating. So we just have to, again, accommodate these names. These new, updated, first, last. Because do we really need name there? Huh. Okay, now what is it here, right? So it's not, this is the one I got wrong, right? So house, 
hold. All right. Again, if you're not sure, okay, I'm not sure. House members. <laughs> See? That's where having this over here can help so that I can look at it. All right? So it's house members and house size. House members and house size. That's what's on the object. So let's see if that fixed it on the edit. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. So we have in this section implemented a class for our carbon footprint calculation, uh, then modif or updated our code, our render to accommodate that new thing. But the thing I'm going to leave you with today is actually, I think, you know, I actually think I'm going to have you attempt to add one more thing for the challenge into our carbon footprint, right? Because the next one on the list was food. So I think I'm going to, that, that's my thinking of what we're going to add. And I'll kind of break it into parts, but because we've done all of this, so now, and again, this is good setup for what you're going to do in your app. You don't have, by the way, you don't have to in your app do the class, um, but you can. Uh, you can leave it uh, the way it was. The other thing, let me come back here. I did want to show you was this. When we enter a new, and this is good, like if we were to go over, well, let's just enter it and then I'll show you. One thing is, and just keep this in mind, when you use local storage, you break the uh, object class method relationship, but we are not hitting up against that because we're uh, instantiating the objects using the methods and then saving into local storage. So I can show you this right here on the, right, uh, right here right after we do okay so if we look at see we know that these are okay these two right now but as soon as we save and let's just jump over this okay we save that into local storage now we're not bringing it back so it's when we refresh uh, the page so now I'm going to come back here Right, I'm going to refresh. I'm going to stop there just to show you this. It may look a little different. So now if we looked at CFP data, notice these are no longer instantiated objects from these are what got brought back. So these are regular objects right now. Now, for our code base, right, and there is ways you can basically do an object.assign to reconnect them into or re, um, create that relationship between the object and the method, or in this case, the class. But for our code, this should be fine. I just want you to keep this in mind, especially for those of you that are like, hey, let's do more with the classes. Now, we could. There's something called a static class we could use, but for today, this is enough. Um, and again, I think I'm really trying to target this to students who are new to this and trying to figure out what is, um, you know, a good level of, of including some of this. So, on to the challenge. Uh, update your code as needed. Um, uh, and if you didn't need to update it, say you didn't need to update it and you got it all working. Otherwise, it's okay, really. It's good. Uh, that, was a, that was probably the best challenge or at least the most challenging one of this section. Right on to the code discussion challenge.